Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to turn around quick, easy and creative projects using PaintShop Pro's project templates. Project templates are great for people who have a design project they'd like to create, such as a card, collage or brochure, but lack the time or knowledge to start from scratch by themselves. Inherently, PaintShop Pro templates use the power of layers. Layers allow you to combine or composite multiple image elements together to create an attractive and professional looking composition. For each project template, you will drag your content from the organizer palette at the bottom of your screen to the layers palette at the right of your screen. Put your designed image in the right layer and adjust for size. And not only will you quickly have a great looking photo project, but you'll have learned how layers work as well. Let's get started. Edit Workspace, go to File, New from Template, or alternatively, click the New from Template icon. A new image dialog box will pop up with free and premium templates to browse through. Clicking Project Categories on the left will expose a variety of card options. Pull down menu and you can explore even more template options. Click a card to see a larger preview. I want to make a photo collage. Within the collage drop down list, I can browse by subcategory or choose all collages to see the entire list of available collage templates. Templates will open up automatically in PaintShop Pro after you download them. Let's see, I think I'll choose Shutter03 for my collage project. First I'll click download and then when the button says downloaded I'll click OK. As you can see it has opened up in PaintShop Pro ready for me to start creating. For premium templates you can follow the payment prompts and upon completion you'll find your newly purchased template open in PaintShop Pro. No need to restart. Returning to our scatter collage template, which we just downloaded, we'll now need to locate the images I want to use for my collage. Find the images you want to place in your template within the organizer palette at the bottom of your screen. All PaintShop Pro's templates are set up with labeled layers to instruct you how to use the template. Simply drag and drop a photo from the organizer palette into the layers panel below the mask layer. In most projects, the mask layer has been conveniently labelled with the words drag image below this mask to help you identify where you should place your image. This is especially helpful for those who are new to layers. Our next step is to resize the photo for the target frame and drag it into the opening by using the pick tool. Make sure you're in scale mode before you start to adjust. Start by grabbing the corner of a photo and stretching it to fill the frame. Remember that, depending on the resolution of your camera, the image you're placing might be very large. To see the resize handles of the image, you might need to zoom out of your view of the project to see the image handles and resize the image. You can zoom out using the magnifying glass plus minus icons on the toolbar, or by using your mouse wheel. Let's resize this image now. Once you are happy with the way your image fits the template, repeat with your other images, starting with mask layer 2, until you're done. For more complicated templates, you may want to decrease the size of the layers in your layers panel so you can see more at once. To make the layers smaller, click on the General Preferences icon in the bottom right hand corner of the screen and 
decrease the palette thumbnail size. I find 30 pixels is a good fit. Now that I'm done, I can choose save, print, email or share to social media right from PaintShop Pro. If you're like me, you might prefer using your web browser to share images. To do so, simply click Save As, rename your file and choose a sharing friendly format like JPEG, then save to your desktop or folder of your choice. Now you're ready to share a great looking collage. You can try both the projects seen in this tutorial within PaintShop Pro X9. Simply click New from Template and browse to Shutter03. Or for the card shown at the beginning of this video, look under Cards and select Modern03. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you for watching.